Storytelling is what separates us from other animals. The fact that we can describe things, moments or feelings, so that they, without having been there, can feel or get an emotional experience that is similar to somebody who's actually been there. We grow up telling stories. As kids, we tell stories to get out of trouble with our parents. We do it to sell things, to build relationships. We even do it to fall in love. Whether it's going to the movies or just telling our friend what happened last weekend, stories is how we make ourselves relevant to other people. I wanted to make this series about why I think advertising is dying, why it's becoming irrelevant. The big difference is how it gets its stretch, not by twisting, but by an exclusive process. And here's the biggest news, seamless stockings of agile. I made a living creating ads for over 10 years. There are many things that I love about it. But as a consumer, I hate it. And she spends money. In any case, our consumer is a real person. People have stopped giving a fuck about ads. I have this vision of how I want to work with brands. It's just really hard to get them to understand it. For a while I've been trying to sell this idea of doing a brand collaboration for WebDocs. As a production company, you're usually invited into the process when it's too late to affect the story ID. You as a filmmaker don't have much impact on how and what is being told. Don't just sound like this, do something. Do something crazy. Get crazy. <laughs> like us, no, I just want to... <laughs> Authenticity and real stories, that's what thrives on the internet. Commercials adds nothing to their lives. And if we watch something on a TV, we have our mobile phones to distract us. Even if we're exposed to it, we don't pay attention. Anybody putting their money into shit like that is burning money for nothing. Here she is. She is single and fun-loving. But then, about a year ago, I came up with an ID that might bridge this gap for us. We thought that if we can tap into an existent community, then our concept might work. So, I thought I'd show you the trailer for it. And this is not the trailer for the film or the series. This is a trailer that's specifically used towards getting brands engaged in this whole concept. So watch it and pay attention to how it's made up. People take different roads in life, seeking fulfillment and happiness. Just because they're not on your road does not mean that 
them got lost. And that. Den där lilla. Den. Ancient traces provide evidence of the freedom to roam. It used to be for travelers, traveling from far, who needed a place to stay on the way, to camp, pick berries and mushrooms, exploring, long walks in the forest, and quiet nights by the fire. It was survival. But now, we need adventure. Looks like there's gonna be a storm. doesn't like the flies. You should take chances and enjoy the moment for what it is, not what it could be. Life should be an adventure. It's down there. Okay, continue. I'm gonna drink some wine. Bye. I didn't see you there. I'm Johnny von Wallström, director of Van Life. So I've been traveling the world for over 10 years, documenting stories about people from all over the place. I shot a trans woman's fight for her right to love in Uganda. I stood on Tahrir Square during the Arab uprising. But I've also shot commercials for big brands like Absolute Vodka and Saab. This has got me thinking. I've gotten to know the people behind the headline news, beyond stereotypes and shit talk. That's why we for the past year have been busy with a secret project, building the ultimate travel van that can take us around the world, telling stories of life. We want to meet new people and we want to take you with us.